Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1804, in St. Louis, Missouri, a formal ceremony is conducted to transfer ownership of the Louisiana Territory from France to the United States. In 1848, the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo is ratified by the United States Senate, thereby ending the Mexican-American War. In 1849, Abraham Lincoln becomes the only U.S. president to apply for a patent. In 1874, Purdue University in Indiana admits its first student. In 1876, Alexander Graham Bell makes the first telephone call by saying, Mr. Watson, come here. I want to see you. In 1891, an undertaker in Topeka, Kansas, named Almond Strauger, patents a switch which led to the automation of telephone circuit switching. In 1893, New Mexico State University cancels its first graduation ceremony. Why? Sam Steele, its only graduate, was robbed and killed the night before. In 1900, in today's Stanley Cup game, the Montreal Shamrocks beat the Halifax Crescents 11-0. In 1902, a United States Court of Appeals rules that Thomas Edison did not invent the movie camera. In 1903, American jazz cornetist Bix Beiderbecke was born in Davenport, Iowa. In 1906, the Corrier's mine disaster, Europe's worst ever, kills 1,099 miners in northern France. In 1910, the Republic of China officially abolishes slavery. Also in 1910, the Pittsburgh Courier begins publishing. In 1913, American nurse and activist Harriet Tubman passes away. In 1922, Mahatma Gandhi is arrested in India, tried for sedition, and sentenced to six years in prison. In 1927, Bavaria lifts its ban on Adolf Hitler's speeches. In 1933, the Germans opened their first concentration camp at Dachau. Also in 1933, an earthquake in Long Beach, California kills 115 people and causes an estimated $40 million in damage. In 1933 as well, Nevada becomes the first U.S. state to regulate narcotics. In 1938, the film Jezebel premieres, starring Betty Davis and Henry Fonda. In 1940, American actor Chuck Norris is born. Thank you, Chuck Norris. In 1946, a train derailment kills 185 people in Northeast Brazil. In 1948, at the Fifth Golden Globes, Gentlemen's Agreement, Ronald Coleman, and Rosalind Russell win. In 1951, FBI Director J. Edgar Hoover declines the post of baseball commissioner. In 1957, Saudi Arabian terrorist and murderer Osama bin Laden is born. In 1958, American actress Sharon Stone is born. In 1960, at the 17th Golden Globes, Ben-Hur, Anthony Franciosa, and Elizabeth Taylor win. In 1962, Due to its no blacks policy, the Phillies leave the Jack Tar Harrison Hotel and move to the Rocky Point Motel, 20 miles outside Clearwater, Florida. In 1963, MLB infielder Pete Rose debuts with the Cincinnati Reds at spring training in Tampa, Florida. In 1964, Simon and Garfunkel record the first version of The Sound of Silence at Columbia Studios in New York City. In 1965, the Buck Owens album, I've Got a Tiger by the Tail, is released and becomes the Billboard Album of the Year. In 1967, American singer Aretha Franklin's 10th overall studio album, I Never Loved a Man the Way I Love You, is released. In 1969, James Earl Ray pled guilty to murdering American civil rights leader Martin Luther King Jr. and was then sentenced to 99 years in prison. In 1970, Barbara Streisand records The Singer and I Can Do It. In 1971, the U.S. Senate approves an amendment lowering the voting age to 18. In 1972, Peter Bogdanovich's film What's Up Doc, starring Ryan O'Neill, Barbara Streisand, Madeline Kahn, and Kenneth Mars premieres. In 1975, the Rocky Horror Picture Show opens at the Belasco Theater in New York City for 45 performances. The movie was much more successful eventually. 
Also in 1975, John Lennon releases a cover of Benny King's Stand By Me. In 1977, astronomers discover rings around Uranus. In 1978, The Incredible Hulk, starring Bill Bixby as David Banner, premieres on CBS TV. In 1980, Willard Scott becomes the weather guy on The Today Show. In 1981, Kim Carnes releases her song, Betty Davis Eyes, and it becomes the Billboard Song of the Year. In 1987, the Vatican formally opposes test tube fertilization and embryo transfers. In 1988, BG's little brother Andy Gibb passes away. In 1992, Jodeci's single Come and Talk to Me is released and becomes the Billboard Song of the Year. In 1994, one million Greeks attend actress and activist Melina McCoury's funeral. In 1996, at the 22nd People's Choice Awards, Tom Hanks and Demi Moore win Motion Picture, and Tim Allen and Candace Bergen win TV. In 1997, the cult television series Buffy the Vampire Slayer premiered. Also in 1997, the Palm Pilot is released. How many of you know what that is? In 2000, the NASDAQ Composite Stock Market Index peaks at 5,132 0.52, signaling the beginning of the end of the dot-com boom. In 2003, My Front Porch Looking In is released by Lone Star and becomes Billboard's Song of the Year. Also in 2003, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductees include ACDC, The Clash, Elvis Costello and the Attractions, The Police, and The Righteous Brothers. What a righteous year. In 2006, NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter enters the orbit of Mars and begins searching for signs of water on the planet. In 2008, the New York Times reveals that Elliot Spitzer, the governor of New York, had patronized a prostitution service. Also in 2008, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductees this year include Leonard Cohen, The Dave Clark Five, Madonna, John Mellencamp, The Ventures, and Little Walter. In 2010, Carlos Slim becomes the first Mexican to top the Forbes richest person list with a net worth of $53.5 billion. In 2012, at least 130 rockets are fired into Israel from Gaza. In 2014, the German Chancellor warns Russia's Vladimir Putin that making Crimea part of Russia is illegal and is in violation of Ukraine's constitution. In 2015, the family of Marvin Gaye win a record $7.3 million lawsuit for music copyright infringement against Robin Thicke, Pharrell Williams, and T.I. In 2017, South Korean politician Park Wen hees presidency ended as the country's constitutional court upheld her impeachment. In 2018, 16 people die after being struck by lightning at a church in Rwanda wonder what God was trying to tell them. In 2019, Ethiopian Airlines flight ET-302 crashes just after takeoff from Addis Ababa, killing all 157 on board. In 2020, the Russian parliament passes legislation to allow Vladimir Putin to hold office of president for life. So we got that going for us. In 2021, Merrick Garland is confirmed as the U.S. Attorney General by the U.S. Senate. And lastly, in 2021, valued at $45 billion, video gaming platform Roblox goes public on the New York Stock Exchange. So I hope you enjoyed March 10th. There were some fun things on that day. Please take a look at my other videos that are right there in front of you and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Have a great day.